Alright, in an earlier video I took the HTML tags from W3Schools and sorted them to get rid of the deprecated and frame elements. And now the step is to formulate them in a way that we can put them into our page without all the grunt work of putting in the tags. Because not only do we want to display the tags on the page, because they have these brackets, we don't want them to be rendered as HTML, but we also need to make all the anchor tags and the links for them. So we're going to do that step by step. And it probably helps to kind of envision what we want first. So to do that, I'm just going to open up Notepad and give a simple example. And so we will have at the top, let's just say we have the A, we have the A tag followed by, you know, let's just say the B tag followed by, you know, the U tag. We're going to have all those at the top. And then down here, we're going to have the, this is the anchor, the A tag, blah, blah, right? And so we not only need this to be a link, which is going to go something like this, a href equals uh, pound a, because it's an internal link. Um, and then we close the anchor. So each of those things at the top is going to have HTML like that. But then we have to put it, we have to put the anchor down here. So a anchor, anchor equals a and that's a self-closing tag, right? So now that will link down to that when it renders as HTML. Um, and we also have to mention it in here, and we have to put ampersand less than semicolon, uh, ampersand greater than semicolon. And I'll just show you very quickly, if we save that to the desktop as sample.htm, all files, and save it, and we'll see how that looks. And I go here to my sample, double click it, and now you see the A is a link. I see this A as a tag, and if this were lower down on the page, it would jump me to it. And the way I can confirm that, well, I'd have to put a bunch of, if it were lower down on the page, you'd see it. But So the question is, how do I generate this look from um, having just text editing here from this long list I have on... Uh, Google Docs. So here's a list. So I'll probably just want to start to keep it simple by sorting by the uh, alphabetically like that. And then I need to, if I look back at my example, I need to get it to a point where I have this information all before each one, this information after each one, as well as I might as well do that bar. And then later I can put it into another format and get rid of things. So let's just examine. So if I want to start out, I've got the tag there, and I'll just use this first as a reference. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete that. All I did was uh, copy that. That was a duplicate column. And I'm going to add a bunch of um, extra columns here. Can't hurt to have too many. And so when I think about what I want at the beginning, I want to put a href equals question mark, I mean a, a quote. So I'm going to put uh, less than a href equals quote. And then in here is going to be my tag. I'll put some tag as a placeholder. And then here's going to be the qu close quote and the close bracket. And then some tag again, right? followed by the closing of that, followed by the vertical line. So I want to isolate those, so I'll put that over in this column, right? And I probably need to add another column in, in here for this. So I'm going to go there and put quote less than. And so now, once I have the list of tags, and I put them in here, and we'll take uh, A as an example, a would be there, and A would be there, and that would pretty much give me everything. I'm going to put a space there. That would give me everything I need to complete what we see here. So A href equals, then the name of the tag, oh, we need a pound sign here, because these are anchors. So A href equals, pound sign, uh, the tag, the close quote, then we have the tag again followed by the closing the anchor tag and the vertical line to separate. And now we're going to repeat that across all of them simply by dragging it down through here. And I'll do the rest of that in another recording.